Well, I know a lot of you guys struggle with this time excuse again. You say you don't have fucking time to work on your goals. So when it comes down to your business goals, when it comes down to trying to change your financial situation, you can't fucking do it due to your time. You're too busy. Cole, you don't understand. I work a crazy fucking job. Cole, you don't understand. I'm grinding until late hours in the night and I have no extra time. Yeah, because your bitch ass is sleeping in. When the fuck are you going to realize that you need to stop making fucking excuses for why you haven't achieved anything in life and take advantage of the amount of hours you have in a day? It honestly fucking baffles me how many individuals make excuses for their situation when they are wasting fucking time. All right, I've done so many videos on this in the past. I've seen so many individuals struggle with this shit. I've seen done so many different podcasts talking about time and every single time I do this, every single time this conversation arises, individuals like to input their one in a million situation. And it makes no fucking sense to me. Listen, the facts are out there. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, period. We all have the same 1,440 minutes in a day, period. We all have the same 86,400 seconds in a day, period. It's just fucking facts. Now, again, your day might look different, but the fact remains the same around if you would like to achieve great things in life, if you would like to change your fucking situation, you're going to have to stop making excuses at some point and take fucking action. Now, I want to walk you guys through my day, all right? To give you guys a little bit of a background on myself, all right? I'm a 28-year-old entrepreneur. I own a 20,000 square foot gym. My other business, PT Domination, helps personal trainers and fitness coaches grow and scale their online businesses. And we have 1,400 students. I am generating... All right, multiple seven figures a year as a 28 year old. I live in a 5,000 square foot mansion. All right, I'm married to my beautiful wife. I'm about to have a child and I'm trying to inspire as many individuals across the planet to change their fucking life by removing self limiting beliefs and excuses out of their own fucking lives. All right, for the longest time, I hated waking up early. I absolutely fucking hated it. All right, it was something that I dreaded doing. So I would wake up at 5 a.m. All right, that's what served me. And I would actually make fun of the individuals who tried to wake up earlier. Not really make fun of them and poke at them, but I'd be like, yeah, fuck that, bro. Like, there's no way I'm waking up earlier than that. You guys would catch me dead before I woke up earlier than 5 a.m. I would say all this shit because 5 a.m. is what served me. 5 a.m. is what helped me achieve my goals to that point. But I reached a point where I wanted to level up. I reached a point where I became stagnant in my fucking growth. And I don't know about you, but when I become stagnant, I start to feel like I'm dying. I literally feel like I'm drowning, for lack of a better term. All right? My days were getting so busy with the gym, with Julia, with my friends, with PT Domination, with trying to create content for you guys across Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and YouTube and podcasting and everything else. My days got so fucking busy that I started to neglect my health. I started to not go to the gym as much. I started to slack off when I would go to the gym because then I was trying to go to the gym at 5 p.m. and then 6 p.m. and then 7 p.m. because again, I was getting so fucking busy. And what did that lead to? That led to me being unconfident in my body. So when I was sitting down with either Daniel who's filming right now or another one of my friends or my wife, etc., I was never present. I was never just in the moment. I was always sitting down and doing this shit, picking up my fucking shirt, All right, not paying attention to the individuals around me, not paying attention to what I actually wanted to fucking say. And it because it happened because it was just like this ripple effect of bullshit. All right, I made an excuse to sleep in for no reason, literally no reason. I was working at home already, so I was literally just standing there doing fucking nothing. But I made an excuse to sleep in, which would push my work to later in the day which would then push my fitness goals to later in the day, which then led to me neglecting the things that I wanted to achieve in my life. It led to me not enjoying the individual that I saw in the mirror. It led to me not being present in certain situations. Now, why am I bringing this up to you? Well, I know a lot of you guys struggle with this time excuse again. You say you don't have fucking time to work on your goals. So when it comes down to your business goals, when it comes down to trying to change your financial situation, you can't fucking do it due to your time. You're too busy. Cole, you don't understand. I work a crazy fucking job. Cole, you don't understand. I'm grinding until late hours in the night and I have no extra time. Yeah, because your bitch ass is sleeping in. 
You're not sacrificing sleep in order to change your situation. You're not taking advantage of every minute out of those 1,440 minutes. You're not taking advantage out of every second of those 86,400 seconds. You're not. Because if you were, you'd be able to change your situation. You're still making excuses for your fucking actions. All right, you want to change the way you look. You hate your body. You don't have confidence. You hate how your fucking tits look in your shirt. You don't like how your belly sticks over your fucking pant leg, whatever. You have all these things that you don't like about your body, but you keep making excuses around time on how you can't work on your fucking fitness goals. Well, I'm here to challenge you on that. I want all of you to wake up two hours earlier. Fuck this I don't have time bullshit. I want you guys to wake up two hours earlier. Let's do a little bit of math. Now, again, I'm not great at math, so I know there's probably going to be a motherfucker who talks some shit on this, but fuck you. Okay, we're going to keep it very simple right here. We're going to keep it very, very simple. The average wake-up time in Canada and in America is 7 a.m. All right, I did a couple Google searches just to see. Like, what was the average? What did people say they usually woke up at? Usually people wake up two hours before they go to work. The average work time is 9 a.m., the start time. Most individuals wake up at 7 a.m. That is the average in Canada and the United States. I want to challenge all of you to wake up at 5 a.m. Just two hours earlier. Just wake up at 5 a.m. Why? Because if you get those two hours times 365 days a year, all right, that's 730 hours. Divided by 24, you get an extra 30 days a year. You know how much progress you can make in your fucking fitness goals with 30 extra days? You guys can be fucking 10, maybe even 15 pounds lighter. You can start building up those shoulders, building up that chest, building up that booty, building up those legs, whatever your goals are. You could look like a completely different fucking person. Your clothes would start fitting better. You'd stop spending money on other clothes that don't fit you correctly. You'd stop doing this. Every time you fucking sat down with your wife, with your friends, with business partners, with business meetings and more, you could completely shift your financial situation. Let's say you hate your regular nine to five job. If you had an extra 30 free days, free fucking days on a yearly basis to do research into the shit that you're actually passionate about, you might be able to turn that passion into a side hustle. I used to be an iron worker, working 10 to 12 hours a fucking day. I fell in love with fitness. So I started sleeping four hours a night so I could put an extra hour and a half in a day towards personal training, getting my certification, learning about macros, learning about fitness, learning about PT work, etc. And then within six months, I was able to quit my iron working job. Then I became an in-person PT. Then I became an online fitness coach, generated $53,000 a month in my business. Then I became an online business coach. We're about to make $8 million this year. Guys, you got to sacrifice in order to see success. Right now, on average, I sleep around five and a half hours a day, all right, nights. And I know a lot of individuals are going to say that that's not healthy and that's not great for my situation and that's not optimal for my growth. That's not optimal for long-term life, et cetera. And the only thing I have to say to those individuals is shut the fuck up. I sleep five, five and a half hours, sometimes four hours, sometimes six hours based off of my situation that day. I wake up every fucking day at 3.30 a.m., all right? And I grind until work is finished. Sometimes it's 5 p.m., sometimes it's 6 p.m., sometimes it's 7 p.m., but the reason why I work so fucking hard is because I want to provide my wife with an exceptional fucking life. I want to provide my child who's going to be born in 36 fucking days, all right? Probably 35 days, 34 days. Who knows when this video is going to come out for you guys, but in less than a fucking month, all right, I want to provide that kid with an exceptional fucking life. My goal is to be remembered forever. And nobody ever remembers the average motherfucker. And a lot of you guys are average as fuck. You're choosing to do nothing with your life. You're not going anywhere. You're making excuses for your situation. And that's why you've never been able to get out of those fucking shoes. If you want to change your life, sacrifice in order to see success. Stop making fucking excuses around your lack of time. And let's get it fucking popping. Let's go.